Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Gripper Rip back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to let you know what I expect for 2022 Tops Update. I can't believe it's actually almost out. It's It's been a journey to say the least with all the trials and tribulations that Tops has put their fans through this year with all the delays and the price increases and things like that. It's almost finally time to celebrate what is probably the best set of 2022 and it will be most likely the one that everybody is going to uh want to collect so before we end that i just want to say one thing uh just saw halloween ends it's all right it's uh no spoilers but it's it's very unique um so if you have peacock uh the you know the tv subscription uh it's on there for free or you can go see it in the theater um i enjoyed it for what it was something completely out of the blue but, you know, if you like those type of movies, you know, the, the, that show or that movie will maybe disappoint you. But, you know, it is what it is. I didn't think it was a fitting conclusion, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, but with that out of the way, let's talk about Top's update. And, oh, I forgot to mention, I uh, met the new vendor in my area this, uh, well, today. Went to my local Walmart and was watching the new vendor. Uh, apparently, the ones that took four hours the last time I met them at my co uh, local Walmart, uh, they quit. <laughs> they quit. And um, the new one came in today for the first time. She's just filling in, she said. She said she don't know how long she'll be there. But there was nothing good on the shelf. There was legit 50 blasters of chrome and like about 20 mega boxes. No gallery. I was actually going to probably buy a gallery blaster uh, you know, of Topps Gallery, um, if they had it, but there was none. There was Prison Baseball. I don't, I don't really want to go down that, that path with Prism. I don't think, with, with no logos, the fact that they're charging $35, I, I, I'm not doing that. No way. I won't even buy Topps Chrome. And I know Julio and all them other ones are in Prism, but without no logos, I'm, I can't justify that. No way. I might buy a Mega Box that guarantees an autograph. If they're priced properly, but knowing them, it'll probably be like 75 bucks, which will, I will say absolutely not. So with that all out of the way now, let's talk about Update and why I think Update, and a lot of you guys are probably going to think the same way I am, is going to be the best set of 2022. And I believe that this set will be very, very coveted for the future. So if you guys remember 2018, 2018 Update... 2018 update is considered probably one of the best sets of the last five years. Um, like you have Shohei Otani, you have Ronald Acuna, Juan Soto. You also had rookie debuts of all the other, um, all the other rookies in there. Like the you know uh, from series one and series two, like Glaber Torres. Uh, that, that name pops up, and you know, and oh, what's it called? Uh, Shane Bieber was in there as well. Yeah, Shane Bieber's also in 2018 update that really no one talks about because, of course, you have three big uh, rookies in that set, but Shane Bieber's right there with him. I mean, look how well he's performing. So, um, but I think we have a new contender for set of the last five years. Now, obviously, it's been four years since 2018 update. It's hard to believe it's been four years, but. It's really been four years. Oh, yeah, and also Al uh, Ozzy Albies was in that set as well while I show off my uh, cr uh, rookie debut, Gold Acuna Jr. Um, that's, pro that's the best card I've pulled out of 2018 update. But, um, you know, getting back to it, we have a new contender, I believe, for the best set of the last five years, and that will be 2022 Tops Update. The potential in this rookie class is unlike something we've never seen. Um... We can kind of thank Tops to an extent for loading this release up. If, you know, everything was according to plan, Tops would have released rookie cards in Series 2 of Julio, Bobby Witt, Torkelson, things like that, like Stephen Kwan. But for whatever reason, they held them all back for update, absolutely loading update, and pretty much making all the other sets, aside from Wander and O'Neill Cruz, um, like Carl Raleigh is another one, for the Mariners, who is pretty much sprung out of nowhere. I believe he is in Series 1. Um, he's been coming in really clutch 
for the Mariners as of late. So aside from those three guys, I'm sure I'm missing someone that I'm just completely forgetting right now. But Series 1 and Series 2 this year were kind of underwhelming. Um, of course, you had the short prints in Series 2, but, you know, those are short prints. Those are really hard to find. Everyone's not guaranteed to get them, so I'm not even going to mention them. So basically, you know, we have a lot of good rookie cards like Seiya Suzuki, Hunter Green, CJ Abrams, Spencer Torkelson, Bobby Wood Jr., Julio Rodriguez. Right there are six really good people. And, I mean, I really do believe this set is going to overtake the value of, of 2018 update. I really do mean that. Um, you know, and then we're also going to have rookie debuts of O'Neill Cruz, Wander Franco, Spencer Strider. Everyone from Series 1 and Series 2 who was a rookie will get a rookie debut, as well as also have inserts. I assume all the rookies are going to have inserts of some sort as in this set. I can almost guarantee you that, like, Quan and Julio and Bobby Witt will all have 1987s. I can almost guarantee it. And things like that. They'll have silver, uh, silver Pack 87s as well. Like, I really do think, I mean, if you see 2022 Tops Update on the shelves, your local Walmarts and Targets, buy it. Like, I mean, buy it. Um, you know, I don't know how much a blaster box of 2018 update is now. In the 2020 craze, is what I'll call it, um, they are really expensive. I don't know how much they are now. I remember a fat pack was $100 at one point, like $110 at one point. Um, I don't know what the prices are now, but... Um, with this good rookie set, I mean, we're looking at a, like, there's bound to be one person in that set, or two, or maybe three, or maybe even four people in that set that could just have a breakout, like, we're already seeing with Julio. Julio, like, literally, it feels like, has become a superstar overnight. Um, who's to say Bobby Witt, or like, let's say a Stephen Kwan, or Spencer Torkelson picks it up, or Hunter Green. Hunter Green's a phenomenal pitcher for the Reds. Literally threw a no-hitter but it didn't count against the Pirates this year because it was only eight innings. But, you know, there's just there's bound to be at least two or three people in this set that are just bound to have a breakout career. And we're already seeing, like I said, with Julio Rodriguez, so that leaves two more people. And with, you know, with the potential that this set has, it's probably going to be very hard to find this stuff because, you know, all it's going to take is a couple really hardcore collectors to clean the shelf you know i assume each walmart and target will probably get about 12 blasters at a time each restock who's to say someone just won't swipe them off the shelf at one time i mean with the potential of this set i mean i don't blame them this is a very i i can almost guarantee you this stuff will be scalped double almost triple the price around the retail release date which is about I mean, update comes out hobby-wise October 26th. So if I had to take a guess, the second week of November, so probably around November 13th or to around November 20th is when you're going to see update hit retail shelves. And it's going to be hard to find. If you're not at restock waiting for the vendor to get done finishing up with the uh, restock, I imagine it's going to be very hard because people are going to, like I said, just like Prism, just, you know, just like how NFL Prism Optic goes, flippers will see how good this set is, and they'll know that they can make money off it. This is going to be a very, very sought-after set, I believe. And if you see it in your local Walmart or Target, buy it. Because you'll probably regret it sooner down the road when some of these guys are going to break out. Like, Seiya Suzuki's in there as well. And, you know, we also have, like I said, rookie debuts, Spencer Strider. O'Neal Cruz, Wander Franco, uh, if you want to consider Vidal Brujan, I, but he really, you know, hasn't really done anything. Uh, Kyle Raleigh, you know, one of the people uh, that brought the Mariners to the playoffs. You know, so just wanted to make this little video for you guys because I know I've seen it in 2018 Update. 2018 Update, I remember. Um, I, I saw a lot of it on the shelf when the vendor just – or whoever restocked at the time what left. Typically, it was Friday after school. My mom would get groceries every Friday. And luckily, that's when our vendor restocked. So I was there pretty much every time that, you know, they got done finishing up uh, restocking. But um, I remember, like, sometimes I'd go into a Target um, uh, on a random day, and there was, like, nothing there of it. So, you know, just 
don't make the same mistakes that you did with 2018 update. Um, if you see it, just buy it. You're not going to regret it. Uh, I would keep some of this stuff sealed. I would. I'm going to. I'm probably going to keep at least five blasters of it sealed. Um, and maybe some of these hanger boxes as well. Um, I expect this set to be uh, very pricey on the secondary market on eBay. I, I really do. Um, but the rookie potential and the autograph checklist, because let's let's be real now, every one of those rookies are going to have an autograph in this checklist. Like, you know, Stephen Kwan, a lot of people are starting to collect uh, Seiya Suzuki, which has, I don't believe Seiya Suzuki has a autograph in any top set yet. Hunter Green, another one. CJ Abrams for the Nationals, uh, but he'll be in his Padres uniform. Um, yeah, so I just want to make this quick little video for you guys just to explain to you guys when you see update, um, typically what I, here's my advice for you. If you can afford a hobby box or a jumbo, buy one of those first. So that way you're guaranteed to get it. Uh, I mean, unless, see, I'm lucky my, my card store in my area isn't really, you know, people really don't go to it. Um, it's not in a high traffic, uh, area. There's not a lot of population around it. So, um, you know, I can go there couple hours after he opens and still get the boxes but if you're in an area where you know that people are going to want to buy it um try to get to your local card store as quickly as you can on release day um this stuff will probably sell out in local card stores if they like maybe get like let's say one case of jumbo one case of regular i would definitely be there in the morning if you if you can of course I, I know people work and everything like that or you could pre-order a box right now in steel city or something like that online or let's say maybe if your local card store has a website like mine does you could buy it right through the website and have it shipped uh to your house but you know just to make this little video for you guys because i get a lot of questions about like what are you gonna do for tops update this year i'm personally probably gonna buy two hobby boxes on op on uh, i should say release day um Maybe a couple loose jumbo packs. Maybe get a holy of autograph because there's, you know, guaranteed autograph and a jumbo. But um, we're definitely going to get two hobby boxes. And we're going to buy a bunch of blasters over the course of the last couple months of the year. And into 2022 before, or I should say 2023, before 2023 Series 1 blesses us with its presence. Uh, hopefully in February. Hopefully. Unless they delay it, which would be very inconvenient. But let's get to this pack of archives. Enough talking. Um, archives will only be the newest sets for a couple weeks. Um, like I said, we're going to get a new set here. Uh, not this upcoming Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. So it comes out on a Wednesday. So just to let you guys know. So let's get to this pack. We have Joey Votto. I think we have another poster card in here or something, I think. We'll see. Maybe it's not a girl. How about that? Hoy Park. Yeah, Pirates legend Hoy Park. Aaron Nola, who threw a gem today for the Phillies. We got Honus Wagner, another pirate legend. We got A-Rod. How about that? We got a... Whoa! Here we go. Got an autograph. Ray Knight. I did see some people pull his autograph. I don't know anything about him, because clearly it doesn't look like I was born <laughs> uh, when he played. But looks like we have a uh, silver parallel. No, is this a one of one? No, it's not okay. It is 51 out of 99. So a 51 out of 99 Ray Knight. And I love the oldie autographs because they're really, you could really see what it, you know, his name reads. Uh, a lot of people don't write in cursive no more like this. So it's, I could always appreciate a nice autograph. So that's a cool, uh, many, any Mets fans out there who were, um, known about this guy let me know i'm gonna probably look up his stats after i'm done with this video and we have a zach short and a greg deekman or a dykeman autograph or not autograph a uh, 1987 so guys with that being said let me know what you think about update this year how much do you plan on buying of this stuff i'm really uh very interested to hear what you have to think about it and i'll see you guys in the next one